Well, there was a heavy police presence, a lot of security guards, but no major or significant issues at this meetings meeting rather, even though tempers and emotions certainly flared. moments in heated exchanges at Dearborn School Board meeting Thursday night as parents, residents, and community stakeholders sounded off on LGBTQ books in the district's library system. To the LGBT community, the majority of parents are not here to attack your right to exist in a free society. <laughs> criticism of age and appropriate content is not criticism of the LGBT community. This was actually round two for the board, which suspended Monday's meeting over safety concerns. The massive turnout in the smaller space broke the fire code. Capacity was limited to about 600 people inside the Stout Middle School Auditorium. Those who could not get in filled overflow spaces. Almost everyone wanted to weigh in on the issue at hand. Banning LGBT books isn't going to stop anyone from being gay. It will just make them miserable and alienate them and the consequences might be fatal. Dearborn Schools is reviewing six library books, including This Book is Gay and All Boys Are Not Blue, after a parent complained about them, saying they were sexually explicit and inappropriate for kids. A normal, psychologically sound and stable mind would come to a conclusion that that specific material is nothing but sexually explicit. Those who disagree say this uproar is not about books at all. So let's stop pretending this is about protecting children from books. We all know this is about erasing our LGBTQ students and staff. It was literally written on signs people brought to the meeting on Monday. The pushback against the LGBTQ books has made unlikely bedfellows out of Muslims and some political conservatives. GOP candidates Christina Caramo and Matt DiPerno and Republican mom and Republican lawmaker Jim Runstad and Matt Maddock were front and center at Thursday's meeting. Our community, like many others across the country, is being inter, inter, intentionally sorry, divided by political players whose agenda revolves around anti-public school, anti-public school teachers, not what is best for students. This issue comes up in Dearborn, but it's the same issue we're seeing in Grand Rapids. We're seeing it in Kalamazoo. We're seeing it in northern Michigan. We're seeing it everywhere where school boards think that they can ignore the rights of the parents uh, in terms of how their children are educated. Well, guys, the books in question are off the shelves as the district reviews them. It is also revamping its library book review process and is removing volumes that, quote, students are no longer using that are out of date or that are not age appropriate for that school level. Now, Dearborn Schools has also uh, made it a lot easier, is making it easier for parents to limit what books and materials their kids can have access to. Reporting live in Dearborn, I'm Randy Wimbley, and this is The Edge.